Yo, what's up guys? So I wanted to bring you a golden nugget today uh, because I was on a call with Andrew Pabia earlier and I was showing him books and I was telling him how like I read those books and like a uh, light bulb went off and he was like, holy shit, I didn't know you could read books like that. Uh, and so I just wanted to share that little golden nugget with you today right here. But first off, I want to show you um, what books that I recommend. So these are a bunch of books that have helped me scale my business and also learn about money a little bit better um, and have made my life uh, and put my mind at ease when it comes to uh, finances and has made my life a lot better. So first one they recommend, top 10 ways to avoid taxes. So awesome name, totally grabbed my attention. Mark Kwan uh, is the author of this book. Uh, really short, really easy to use, uh, really easy to use really easy to read and use. Um, and this is actually why I invested into Stacy's program to help me with uh, building cash flow property, because that's one of the best ways to save money on taxes. This is one of the reasons why I have a Roth IRA and why I invest in the stock market and why I'm a business owner uh, and all that stuff. So this book, amazing, amazing, amazing. And uh, I'll, I'll show you or I'll tell you how I read these books so quickly at the end of this video. Um, but this book, I literally read from uh, front to back in a day. Um, so this really quick read and just an amazing quick download uh, for you to get better with your taxes. Um, then uh, Who, uh, a book for hiring, really probably the top book on hiring. Um, it has great questions in here, great frameworks. It's, it's freaking awesome. Highly recommend. Uh, and that is by uh, Jeff Smart in Randy Street. Uh, and then we got Wealth Actually by Fraser Rice. Um, this is a pretty basic book. Like I definitely didn't read all of this, uh, but I'll tell you how to read this super quick uh, without having to read every single word. Um, so wealth actually really good book for investing and doing passive investing. Um, so that's good. Um, sales management simplified by Mark Weinberg. Uh, this was actually recommended to me by Cole. So, you know, it's good. He's giving me a new book recommendation every single day. Um, but this is how to manage your sales team. So sales management simplified. Um, and ultimately, uh, I want to bring this up because the next two books have to do with operations, which you don't want to live in these areas, but as a business owner, as a CEO, you need to know about these areas and start implementing it yourself and then get it off your plate. So uh, this will give you the base that you need uh, to really manage your sales team. Really, really good book. Um, and then scaling up. Uh, this is the Bible for operations and how, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the Mastering the Rockefeller Habits 2.0. This is the Bible. These these are basically the same methodologies for operations. This one is more down to earth. This one's a little bit more complex. Uh, you can get both or either. If you, had, if you were choosing between the two, I would get Traction by Gino Whitman. But these are really, really good for operations um, and planning and all that good stuff. So Traction by Gina Whitman, Scaling Up by Vern Harnish, really, really good books. So um, how do I read these? How do I read them so quick and pull out golden nuggets and shit? I typically don't read from front to back uh, ever. Um, what I do is read the front page, read the back. Then I read the first part, which is usually why this book is important, right? I read that chapter or those few pages. And then I go to the chapters. And what I'm trying to do from books is extract frameworks. I want to change how my brain operates by learning as many frameworks as possible so that I can look at a problem or a situation and be like, oh, I just got to do X, Y, and Z. I have to implement this framework to get the result that I want. So when I'm reading traction, when I'm reading about operations, I'm trying to extract the framework so my uh, my operations in my business run smoothly. So I will go to uh, go to the chapters and look at, oh, I need vision in my business. I need people component in my business. I need data. I need to solve issues and I need uh, processes. Cool, that's the framework for operations, right? And then what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll go to 
each little part in the framework and pull out those little golden nuggets. So uh, usually there are two to three golden nuggets per chapter or per stage in the framework. And once I've extracted those by skimming, I've pretty much got the framework down. Um, so if I read this from front to back, I would get 100% of the book, right? Well, from reading this uh, by skimming, I'm probably getting 95% of the book and I'm saving hours, bunches of hours of time. Um, and I'm getting the majority of what this book is telling me. So um, yeah, that's how I read it. Uh, I figure out what subject do I wanna learn more about? I ask people for their book recommendations on Facebook. Um, I'll go to Amazon and buy all of those books. And then I will go in probably for an hour per book, uh, read the front, read the back, read the first uh, chapter that's saying why it's important. Then I'll go into the chapters and figure out the frameworks. So yeah, uh, I that's kind of just how I've uh, read books for the past few years. Um, and it's helped me download a lot of knowledge in a little amount of time. So I'm a slow reader too. I've, I was in, in school. Um, I was always in those classes where I was being helped with reading. Uh, I'm bad at talking too. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, not a great reader, but I learned a lot by this methodology. So I hope that helps. Just want to bring you a little nugget today. Uh, let me know what your number one takeaway was down below. What book are you most excited about reading? Drop that down below just so I can see that uh, this was valuable. And if it is, I'll keep these up. But much love.